Hello everyone, so in this video I'm going to show you what I've been working on recently. Uh, I purchased one of these LCD screens here for the Raspberry Pi which connect into the GPIO header there which you can see. Um, what I'm making is a it's kind of like a pair of pen testing drop box. So it's designed to be plugged into the network either using the Ethernet here or wireless and used to gather sort of information on the network and things like that for use for security assessments and things. Uh, this isn't an original idea, there has been a couple of others I've seen. One of them, I can put some links in the description, is called Rogue Pi, which is ten times better than what I've done here. I've really done this just because it looked fun, to, like a fun project to do. But I can show you how it works. Um, you've when, Once you start the script it brings up the start menu here and you can press the select button here. You've got select, left, right, up and down there. So you press select to bring up the main menu and you have a list of options. So a lot of, uh, this this isn't finished yet, this project I'm doing, it's, I'm really making this video to see if anyone wants to help with it, maybe write some of these options or or things like that. I'm going to put a, Gib, a GitHub link in the comments as well, so if anyone wants to contribute they can. So um, only about two or three of these actually work, but I've got the inline ethernet sniffer which I, I talked about on another video previously, which when you select this one by pushing select it runs that. I've got a connectivity test which does a basic ping for Google and checks if there's an internet connection available for the Raspberry Pi. I've got a reverse SSH tunnel which allows you to send an SSH connection to a computer on the outside of the network which lets you connect then to the Raspberry Pi and run commands from the Raspberry Pi externally. I've got a DHCP discovery. Um, my idea, uh, this one I haven't done yet, my idea for this one is to maybe monitor packets and using ARP requests and things like that try to figure out what computers are on the networks and their IP addresses and generate a list which can then be uploaded to an FTP server or something. Okay, uh, mass network printer. This one I'm not. I also haven't done. It's just an idea I've had. I might not even be able to do it, but basically scan for printers and then print something to them all. It could be. It might not be possible to do, but I just thought I'd put it on there just in case someone has an idea. Um, up cache spoofing using the uh, wireless antenna. Uh, dual flooding for sending dual packets on a wireless network and disconnecting clients. Um, Nmap scan and upload which as it says it just scans the network and then uploads the results file to an FTP server. Um, upside down internet is one I, which I haven't done this one yet but I think there's a ways, ways that there's a way of I've seen like websites where people have made web pages sort of flip upside down when this is you, if, if as people connect, they connect through them as a proxy and sort of alter the traffic as it goes through to make it look like things are upside down. So there's that one, and then we're back to the beginning again. So I can show you uh, connectivity test first. If I go to connectivity test and press select, it runs through pinging. I think at first it pings Google, and then it pings. Um, if that doesn't work, it then tries to ping 8.8.8.8, which is the Google DNS server, which then decides whether it's if it if if it can ping the IP address, but it can't ping Google. It's likely a problem with DHCP, so it displays there's a DHCP problem. If it can ping Google, fine. It displays your internal IP address at the top there, and your external IP address at the bottom. So that's what that's what connectivity test does. And you can press the select button here to go back to the main menu and choose another option. Uh, the other one I have running on here is uh, Mmap Scan and Upload. So if I push select on this one, this one runs it's just a basic Nmap scan. I don't think there's any option like switched options available on there. It's just it's just the it's just running the command Nmap and then your IP address it, it scans the slash twenty four class C and then outputs it to a file called mmap scan output I think or something and then that file is then uploaded to an FTP server 
and as you saw on the screen every step that does it displays what it's doing and when it's done it you find if it doesn't work if a problem occurred the screen will go red and give you an error saying that it didn't work so you can sort of determine how it didn't work and how, what you can do to fix it okay um, what I can show you actually is now that's uploaded if I go to my FTP file, filezilla here just to show you uh, if I refresh it's come up with a file there and you can see it's uploaded this at this time and I can uh, view it there and so on the other screens I'll move it across there we go so that showed the the yeah, map upload there which has gone through so that one works, that's one that does work uh, so far Ooh. okay uh, inline ethernet sniffer does work but not at the minute because I haven't got the USB to ethernet adapter plugged in if you want to know more about that you can see my other video how I got that working with the, it's basically sniffs on the Ethernet port, going as traffic goes through this Ethernet port and out of a USB port, a USB to Ethernet port, it sniffs the traffic and dumps it all to a log file there. So that one works, but not in the minute. Uh, reverse shell, I can show you that doesn't actually work at the minute, but I'm sort of part way through to getting that to work. You can see if I try that one at the minute, it will come up with the red screen saying it doesn't work and it doesn't start the SSH server. So yeah, that's that's. that's that's really it. What I can do is in the comment, in the description, I'll put a link to a GitHub repo that I've made for this. If anyone, if anyone wants to contribute to it, feel free. I've tried to make the code as simple as possible to um, to sort of add to it and sort of easily. So what I can do now is I can show you the code which I've used to write this. And it's I'm not going to run through all of this, but you can see that it's quite simple okay so uh, what I've done is I've split it all up into um, f uh, into different functions so each one of those menu op each one of those options on the Raspberry Pi screen is a f is basically a function so you can see I've got one here the mmap scan upload function which runs when you select the mmap scan upload thing on the Raspberry Pi so if you want to add a function to this, there's two there's two things you have to do. You first you have to do, obviously define the function by sort of giving it a name and then you write the code for it underneath. And then in this modules dictionary down here, you want to add two values. You want to add your how the how it's displayed on the LED screen here. So you can see on here I've got mmap scan new line and upload. So that's, that's what's showed on the LED screen and then next to it for its value I have the mmap scan upload string there which is the name of the function. So when this is displayed and selected it runs this function mmap scan upload which is this function here and you can see how it works you can go down and follow it line by line and yeah so if anyone if anyone does want to help contribute to this they're more than welcome um, there's not really much else to say about this uh, if you have any questions please let me know in the comments and I'll do my best to answer them for you thank you for watching, goodbye